We can model the behaviour of a damped oscillator by looking at how water displaced in a U-tube oscillates over time. We can see that the amplitude of the water decays very quickly due to the friction between the water and the side of the tube. Watching again in slow motion, we can see that each oscillation has the same time period, but its amplitude decays very quickly. We would expect the decay like this to be exponential, but the only way we can be sure about that is to plot a graph of the amplitude against time. I've recorded the amplitude for each half oscillation and the total elapsed time for the oscillator. I'm going to plot a graph of amplitude on the y-axis and elapsed time on the x-axis. We could, of course, plot a graph of the natural log of the amplitude against time, and if the decay is exponential, we'd expect it to be a straight line. However, as I'm plotting the amplitude on its own, we'd expect a curve, and we can clearly see that's what we're getting on the graph. OK, so I've drawn my line of best fit, and we can see that it's clearly a curve with a decreasing gradient. So we need to use this graph to determine whether the decay of the water in the U-tube is exponential. So the way we do this is we read off the amplitude at time zero. And we can see it takes on this value just under nine centimeters and we'll record that. So that is 8.90 centimeters. And I'm going to look at what the amplitude is one second later. So one second later, you can see here, the amplitude at this point is 2.80 centimeters. I want to now work out the fractional decrease in the amplitude. So for this first interval, we'll call T1, the fractional decay in the amplitude is 2.80 zero divided by 8.90 gives me a decay of 0.315. I'm now going to compare another fractional decay over an equal time interval. So I'll start with 2.80 because I've already recorded that and I'll see what the amplitude is one second later, which is here. You can see the amplitude here is about 0 0.85. Again, we'll have a look at the fractional decrease from here to here, and we can see that T2 is 0 0.85 divided by 2.80. We can see it's fairly similar, 0 0.304. These two numbers are quite similar. If we had decay going on for longer, we can compare a third interval, but my graph, my graph peters out a little bit there. But we can say that 0 0.315 is approximately equal to 0 0.304. So we would say that this decay is exponential.